Alright, so welcome to Let's Play Wasteland. Wasteland is a game that came out in the 80s. It's a CRPG, an old school type of the old Baldur's Gate or whatever style. As you can see, it has lovely graphics. Um, it's a post-apocalyptic RPG set in Southwest U.S. after World War III has wiped out most of humanity. Uh, you play a party of desert rangers who have basically been told there's some sort of disturbance out, disturbance out in the desert and go find it. So I am starting a new game here. We are not going to enter a new location. So here's our little team. These are the default guys that you get. And they are all pretty bad. So we're actually going to take advantage of them having stuff. All right, so they all have stuff. And we're going to steal said stuff and then create our own guys. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this guy. We're going to trade his stuff over. Alright, so now he has nothing left. Do this with her too. Alright, so these two have nothing left. And then we are going to... You remember, do it here? Yeah, you delete here. Delete one, yes. Delete one, yes. And we're going to create two new guys. So, uh, stats in Wasteland. ST is strength. IQ is IQ. Uh, LK is luck. SP is speed. AGL is agility. DX, dexterity. CR is charisma. SKP, those are skill points. Uh, so in Wasteland, you buy your skills with skill points and you can also level them with skill points and as you can see here skill points are equal to your IQ when you start so you want to start with a high, fairly high IQ so you can build more skills um, rank is always going to be private when you start that is their leveling system so you gain experience from killing guys radio into headquarters and they'll tell you if you've gone up in rank um, and then you gain more points to spend into your attributes. And then max con is your max condition uh, or constitution and that is basically your hit points. So this particular character would start with 31, which is pretty good to start with. Um, IQ 12 is too low. I'm going to roll until I find a guy with at least 16 IQ. Uh, so you hit space bar and it rolls. And they're random. They don't necessarily add up to the same number or anything. So you could roll theoretically probably like straight 18s or something. Uh, so here's a guy with 16 IQ, and his other stats are pretty good. His charisma is 17, which is excellent. And so we'll take this guy. You give him a name. And whatever. None of this, the male, female, there's like one place in the game I can think of where male or female matters, and there's a, there's a, uh, a restroom and a bar, and if you're female, then you go in there and you can do something, but it's for the most part, it doesn't matter at all. Nationality doesn't matter in the least. And so, yeah, so we have 16 skill points because he had 16 IQ, and there's three pages of skills here. Notice on the left side it says IQ 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That is the required IQ you need to learn skills. So there's skills beyond 16 that this character cannot learn yet. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, every character I, I create gets one in brawling. Brawling is basically hand-to-hand -hand combat and as your brawling skill goes up the number of auto or number of attacks you do per round will go up as well. Uh, not linearly, it's not like a two in brawling gives you two and a three gives you three or whatever but um, I believe once you get like a seven in brawling you get four for example. Um, but if you don't have the skill, you can't level it. Sometimes it'll level automatically in combat, too. So there, there's some sort of secret behind the scenes uh, skill leveling system that I don't know the details of. But So you, you want to have at least one in some of these skills so they'll level up during, the, during your gameplay. Uh, this particular guy, 
I'm going to give him Perception. Perception is very important to find things that are hidden in the game. There's quite a few of those. Everybody's going to get at least one in an Assault Rifle. Assault Rifle is going to carry you through most of the game uh, until toward the end when you start picking up energy weapons. Um, his dex was really low, so I'm not going to give him Tech Lock. What I will do is I'm going to make him also a primary medic. I'm going to give him two in that. There's a... Uh, a medic skill as well you can get now. Later on you can pick up Doctor, which is far better. Uh, but I'm going to have two guys with medic. This guy's going to be the main one. There'll be another guy with one. And you always need that because if this guy happens to go down, then you're screwed if he's the only one who has medic. Uh, let's see. So I've got seven more points. Um, a lot of these skills are completely useless. Uh, climb is good, but you only need it on one character, so I'll put it on somebody else. Clip pistol, we're not going to be using those much. Knife fighting, pugilism, rifle... Uh, those are all useless for the most part because you won't be using those weapons. And pugilism is fist fighting, obviously not going to be doing that much. Knife throw, you're not going to be using that at all. Uh, swim is good, but you only need one person with it, strangely enough, in a party of four. Um, AT weapons, you won't be using much. SMGs, you won't be using much because you'll be using assault, ri assault rifles. Uh, Acrobat has basically no use. Gamble's important. Um, Gamble needs a good luck. And I remember this guy had like a four in luck, so I definitely want to put it on him. Pick lock, extremely useful. Uh, again, doesn't have a good deck, so I don't put on him. Silent move, useless. Combat shooting, this is the only place you can buy combat shooting. And I don't know what it actually does. In theory, I think what it's supposed to do is give you bonuses to any kind of um, ranged combat you're doing. I don't know if it actually works. Um, and there's no really, really no way to tell in game. There's no way to see like if you're getting some sort of on hit bonus or something from that. So um, I'm not going to take it. Confidence is pretty much useless. Sleight of hand is useless. Demolition has very few uses. So there's, there's you can you can narrow down some of your stuff. So since I got seven extra points, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give him. So I can't get a third in medic, which would be good, but I can't because it's eight. It costs eight. The the skills scale in cost. So it starts one to start, but then it's I think it doubles every time you buy one, buy a point. So uh, I can't get another medic, but I will get another assault rifle because that's really good. Uh, I get another perception, and I got three more points. So I'm going to take something that doesn't get used much. Um, wow, a lot of these are dex based and his dex is terrible. Or was his dex or is his luck? His dex might have been okay, but not, not outstanding. I want to put on somebody who has a really high dex if I can. So, I don't know. No, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I recall his charisma was really, really, really high. Um, hmm. I think I may actually want to save these points. You can, you can save them. You don't have to take them all now. I can't get a level three in any of these skills now because they cost four, and he's only got three left. So, I could take two and something else. Um, hmm. I think I'll actually just save them for now. Yes, I'll keep this character. So, there's one. And uh, hit play. So what's nice is, so we, we, we got these guys who are full, right? Because we, we, we stole all the items from the other guys. But then he also starts with his own set. So we essentially got five sets of equipment right now. So I'm going to create another character, same thing, at least 16 IQ. Doo -doo 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 -doo. This guy's got 18, which is excellent, but his other attributes are really bad. So I will pass on that. Another 16, but again, his attributes are bad. So this could take some time. It kind of looked on that first guy. He had 
really solid stats across the board. Except for I think his dex was like 4 or something. Which means that uh, his hand-to-hand -hand combat skills will be good. So here's a guy... Um... This is okay. Basically, other than his IQ, his strength is his only attribute that's really good, so I think I'll pass. I need a guy with really good dex, and another guy with really good luck. And the fourth guy can kind of be whatever, but I definitely want to get those two. And this guy is kind of okay again, but his max con is low. 25 hit points is not that great. You usually want something starting at least 30. It does go up by 2 automatically every time you level. But early on in the game, you're really weak. And so a higher max on will help you survive stuff better. Uh, and yeah, this guy's got 22, so that's not going to work. He's, again, another high charisma guy. We don't need that. Uh, this guy is terrible and everything else. This guy has pretty good stats across the board, but no max con. Same thing. Same thing. Wow. Okay, this is nice. Th this is really nice. Ah, th okay. So this is super lucky guy. And again, all this stuff doesn't really matter. So 18. So if I come down here, we had we went into 16 on the last guy, and Cartology was the last skill we could take. If you keep going on him, there's a 17 IQ skill, Metallurgy. Which, as far as I know, only has like one or two spots. There's like a mine you can use to find... Uh, silver ore if you had metallurgy, but that's it takes forever to actually get anything worthwhile out of it. Um, so for this guy, uh, again, we'll take the one in brawling as usual. We will take the two, or yeah, we'll take two and a slaughter rifle for him. Uh, he had really high luck, so I'm going to give him gamble because with gamble you can get a lot of money, which is otherwise pretty restricted. Um, seven points left, and what do I want to do? I think uh, we'll give him. We'll make him our climb guy. We'll have to have somebody else take swim at some point. Um, 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 um what else? I think what I'll do, I'll just pop another in assault rifle, and that'll be done. Alright, so there's another guy. So now what we can do is we're going to delete Thrasher in a second. But we want to raid him first. So we're going to take all his stuff and trade it off. He's now full. create another guy. So again, we wanted something at least 16 IQ, and now I'm looking for a high dex. I need a high dex. That's perfect. Um, hmm. His max con is lower than I would like, but his dex is excellent. So, um, I think I'm going to keep him anyway, because that's a really good score. Yeah, okay. So this is going to be Scott. Alright, so this is our Dex guy. So for him, again, the brawling and the assault rifle, he's going to have our pick lock. And he is also going to do, what are we going to give him? Like a demolition. There's only a few places you use these things. Um, but it's good to have. Safe crack. Uh, alarm disarm, that's fine. It's, again, very rarely will it be used, but it's just going to be on somebody, so. Um, yeah, I'll give him another assault rifle, and uh, I'll save the other point. So there's Scott. Alright, so again, we're going to get rid of Snake Vargas. Now, I don't have enough space for all of this. 
So I'm going to be... I'm definitely going to take the pistols. Um, I don't need all this ammo. Uh, take the rope. Ropes are useful. What else? Take these, and then as much ammo as you can hold. Alright, so that's it. So we'll get rid of Snake Vargas now. And he doesn't have much left. So we'll delete him. Yes, I'm sure. Create a new guy. Alright, last character. You know, I want an IQ of 16 at least. This guy. Who would ever play that guy? Sometimes I wonder on some of these roles. Like why? Whoops. That's goodbye, seventeen. Why they didn't put some sort of men on these? Like should add up to at least something. So that guy's got a twenty-two max con, which I believe is the lowest starting max con you can have. So I don't. I don't want that. I definitely don't want that. Uh, this guy is terrible at everything, just about. Hmm. Eh, no. So I don't want to take a second guy with low stats, cause, or low max con, because then where the party just gets beat down too fast. No. So now I'm just kind of looking for another all around kind of dude. A guy with good strength would be nice. Wow, deck 18. Oof. Again, 25 max con. 18, by the way, is the highest uh, a stat can be at the start. So there's an 18 in strength. Which, strength very useful in a couple places. Bash down doors and that kind of thing. Um, Jeez, but it's 26. It's really low. That's really low. I think I'll skip it. God, that hurts. 24 is too low. Uh, this background music, by the way. So this is a re-release of the game. That just came out on Steam a day or two ago. Um, that's, that's, that's um, and they've added some background music. I believe they've up some images. Like this Ranger Center you're looking at is not the original. The original is much more pixelated in that little radar dish at the top is supposed to be rotating. I think the upscaled or res or whatever you call it images are, are not animated. The original game they weren't GIFs. I'm not sure how they did it, but they weren't uh, standard. Stuff. Hmm. We don't need another guy. I want a guy with high strength. I really need a guy with some high strength. I hate passing on that, but I need to. Uh, I don't want 26. I don't want 10. So in this game, you don't have like character classes or anything. It's just how you kind of how you build people out um, based on the skills. Oops, I skipped by that too fast. No. Nope. So the guy with the high decks will do those kind of jobs, and the guy with the I luck will do those kind of jobs and so forth. I think luck might also oops went too fast. Might also have something to do with the combat system, but I'm not entirely sure. There are sites. Fourteen. Ah. I'll skip. There are sites that I think I've like decompiled the code and figured out how everything works and stuff and figured out all the glitches and all that kind of thing. I don't know all that. I just play the game normally and love it. I'm going to try to tear it down to its bare essence and mid-max it and that kind of thing. Wow, that IQ. If that was like a couple points higher, I may actually take this. Mm, my text is so low. No, skip. I have a feeling I may edit some of this out because there's a lot of rolling. First three went f a lot faster, but this is me being super picky. 
But it doesn't matter. I mean, you when you level up, you do get a couple of attribute points you can apply, but you only get a couple. It's uh, it's expensive to drop points into some of these attributes all the time. Then you're neglecting other things. So, especially IQ. You drop points on IQ, you automatically get skill points with it. And you need skill points because there's a lot of stuff left to unlock. So, I don't want to have to shore up stuff. Wow. Look at that, Dex. 13 in strength. I really need to do it with good strength. Because there are some places where, like in the, in the Citadel, there's a gate you gotta raise. By then, you may have a, a, an NPC who can do it. Wow. But, um,. It would be nice to have my own character who can do those kind of things. Earlier on in the game, there's some doors you can knock down and stuff that require strength checks. And also, it helps damage and hand-to-hand -hand combat. And I will be doing um, some hand-to-hand -hand in the beginning. Because the pistols are pretty... Oh, I think I just skipped a good one. The pistols are pretty bad in the start, and then you get rid of them, which is why I don't take Clip Pistol. Clip Pistol is a worthless skill after, like, the first couple starting areas. Hmm. 23, though. That was close. I have a feeling... I'm kind of regretting skipping over that one now. I remember as a kid when I played this, I would, like, roll forever. with getting like the perfect guys. I'm doing a little bit of that again. Which doesn't make for good TV. Which let me roll numbers. This is why later on yeah, this kind of rolling random stuff went away in favor of allocating points to things yourself. Because this mess just takes forever. And you could luck into something really good. But most of the time, you're just staring at really bad combos that you would never, ever take. No one in their right mind would ever sit there and take this guy, right? Who wants him? This guy. Thank you, a five. You have five skills, yay. I need the IQ strength combo. Again at 14. Um, I think I'll take it here just for expediency's sake. So, uh, this guy again brawling, and then he'll also need swim. He needs somebody with swim. Um, I'm gonna take two. There are some places where you need to swim. There's also a river that sometimes I'll just accidentally fall into because I'm really good at this game. And, uh, if you fall in that river, you'll get dragged along it for a really long time. So this guy will also be our backup medic. What else do I need? I feel like there's much I'm missing here. So we have another assault rifle. Um, I don't want to give him extra brawling because then he'll have an advantage when we do hand to hand over the other guy. So the thing about the experience system here is whoever kills the enemy gets the XP. It's not shared, so you can have guys who fall behind if they don't, if they're not good at killing guys. And so I don't want to give one an unfair advantage over the others if I can avoid it. Um, I guess I might as well give him a second medic. Just to make sure. And, uh, yeah. I'll keep the other points for now. Alright, so there's our party.